Have you ever tried Mosa recipe? It's always very delicious and I'm sure you would love to know what we used to do this. And it's usually made with ripe plantain and bananas. Yeah, you can use bananas to make this recipe and it will come out very delicious. We usually make this for parties, like big occasions. This is one of the small chops in Nigerian small chops in nigerian small chops recipes and people used to love this a lot i remember back in nigeria when people would order for mosa puff puff fish rolls meat pie sausage rolls, rolls you know. mosa and so on it's always very delicious sometimes we use bananas and banana mosa too is always very very delicious and today i just crave for it and i want to go ahead to get this done because i have overripe banana uh, i have overripe plantain and i have some fresh plantain that i just bought so i said you know what why not get this um why not do this and enjoy yourself yeah this is something you can make for your children they can have it for lunch they can also have it with some sauce by the side. Pepper sauce, you know, bolle sauce also can work with this. Let's get right into the video. Hello, 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 good team. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. how are you all doing hope you all are doing great yeah so guys today i'm going to be showing you some beautiful recipe we call it plantain morsa it's one of the beautiful nigerian street food you know when you go to those streets you see people frying plantain frying akara frying yam frying uh, potatoes fried fish and so on and some echo agidi and my my and so on yeah so this is plantain mosa you can eat with stew you can eat with fish you can even use it to drink a camel pap custard oatmeal it's so beautiful and we usually use this for um parties yeah for small chops it's one of our small chops and people make a lot of orders for this plantain mosa you can even use bananas yeah for this recipe you can mix banana with plantain you can just do banana mosa guys trust me it's usually very 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 delicious i crave for it and yeah i just want to get it done I have some ripe plantain at home and I bought some plantain, few plantains. Do you know one plantain here now is one dollar? One plantain, one dollar. It's, 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 it's something else. God help us. But you know, your girl crave for plantain mosa and I want to get it done. I have some of it on my platform already. I think I have the recipe that I did a recipe with uh, Akara. Akara and plantain mosa so you can check it up on my channel i have that one and you can add flour if you like you can add corn flour you can add cornstarch you can add any of this to it just to get it molded like a cara otherwise if you have overripe plantain sometimes it breaks in the oil so if you want to get a good consistency you have to add a little bit of flour if you like flour for me i tried to add flour one time and i didn't like the taste it didn't give me the right taste okay so but i choose to add corn starch okay yeah so but today i'm not going to be adding corn flour or corn starch because i have fresh plantain and i have overripe plantain except if the consistency is not um, good enough because it has to be good enough to be able to put in the oil on its own just like a cara 
okay you know what i mean so if not you can go ahead and add flour if that's what you choose or you add uh cornstarch or you add corn or you add cornmeal if that's what you have okay so guys i'll show you quickly what i have on my table for this simple easy quick delicious recipe plantain masa stay tuned guys and enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done so already please 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 if you're new on this channel you are welcome my name is Anne the bears and here is Gucci's kitchen Gucci's team let's get right into the video I'm blushing <laughs> so to get this recipe done you need a ripe plantain if you have plantain that is even riper than this fine but this is a very delicious recipe that you will love you will love this recipe because you know ripe plantain is always very sweet and yeah you need some fresh peppers you need some onions you can add garlic and ginger if you like but i don't want too much taste of all of these um, items so i just want to get the right taste this is exactly how we do it those days back in nigeria this is exactly how we go about it all you need is ripe plantain fresh peppers and some onions but if you want to add garlic and ginger you can go ahead like i like garlic and ginger in my food a lot i like cloves i can add some cloves yeah you can even add turmeric for health reason i like to add some of these things but yeah i'm just going to use cloves i have some grounded cloves and i'm going to go ahead and use these peppers and onion and yeah let's get started so here is my mortar and i have my pistol here uh please a shout out to my friend who blessed me with this mortar god bless you thank you so very much she brought it all the way from nigeria when she traveled her mother gave her this mortar to bless me with this mortar and some other things i'm very very grateful and i think this is the first time i'm going to be using this i have a bigger one that i bought here after a long time i stumbled into mortar in a store right there in atlanta and guys i didn't waste time i picked it up because you know mortar is something very special in our mother's kitchen if you don't have mortar what are you doing <laughs> if you don't have mortar it's like you're not complete as a woman as an Igbo african woman if you know what i mean so yeah i'm going to start by peeling my plantain so all you need to do is to peel up your plantain wash it and peel it up and then you match it in that mortar i'll do this behind the camera guys so guys i'm done cleaning my plantain i'm gonna add some more plantain to this so here so guys here i have some plantain already um, very ripe, overripe actually, which is very, very good for this recipe. I'm going to add everything together so this can be enough for us. I'm going to add it to my mortar, guys. I'm going to add this as well. Trust me, this is so delicious. All you want to do is to mash everything in like so. Very good recipe. It's in the family of akara. You know, when you have fried yam, fried akara, fried akara, fried yam, fried potato, that's the same thing. This is a very special street food in Nigeria. Trust me. You will love you will love it i have a couple of 
of it in my channel yeah you will see it in my channel so yeah i've been craving for it and i said let me get it done because i have plantain plantain nice hot cake where we are plantain is very expensive guys make sure everything is nicely combined so guys this is exactly how you want it to to look, want it to look like you'll just be picking some pieces of plantain in the midst of it like it's usually very delicious nigerians have food i promise you nigerians have food for real so now you can add salt if you want to add salt you can add cloves if you want to add cloves you can add peppers if you want to add pepper at this point you can add your ginger your garlic if you want ginger and garlic if you want to add onion go ahead if you want to add fresh peppers if it's blended pepper you have you can go ahead if you want to add cloves you can go ahead but trust me we are about to enjoy this this is very very delicious you can even put this in the beans if you have cooked beans you can use plantain mosa to eat and just eat it like you eat puff puff it's usually very delicious guys I think that salt is enough. I will go in with some cloves. Just add anything to your preference. You don't have to add cloves, you know, but this is me. I'll tell you, enjoy your food exactly the way you like to enjoy it. So here, guys, I'll add in my fresh peppers and I'll add in my fresh onion. You can add cloves you can decide not to add any of this is your preference if you don't like you can go ahead and just fry it like that but this is exactly how we go about it people make orders a lot of people make orders for this back in nigeria for small chops this is in the family of uh, small chops you know so it's one of the recipes we use in small chops yeah this is one of our small chops in Nigeria and it's and it's always very 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 amazing this is all you need to do now let's go check our oil and see if it's ready and you see how beautiful look at that I'm going to check my oil now and see if my oil is ready so we can get started. So this is my basket to bring it out, my sieve. And here is our oil. I'm going to check and see if this oil is hot. This is how you want to know if your oil is hot make sure your oil is hot for this recipe it's just like when you're frying plantain your oil has to be very hot so you see this will tell you your oil is ready so we are ready to start getting it in you can use ice cream scooper or any scooper of your choice as long as it's something curvy you need something curvy just like this I have gone in with some garlic for flavor sake. Guys, sorry I did the first scoop without you guys. My husband came in and I needed to attend to him. You know, so I couldn't get that side. I'm going to show you the next scoop, okay guys? But it's coming nicely though. So guys, this is how it will look when it's warm. <laughs> this is so good i feel like digging in look at all those peppers onion the green peppers and it's so delicious like very 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 yummy <laughs> i'm going to add the next cup 
so guys be gentle with your size of measurements because i was scooping it too big and at the time i had to reduce it because guys this is so delicious for only one person to eat i was frying i was eating i was frying i was eating guys try this you will testify the same way i'm just testifying it's so delicious that you just can't leave it without picking on it i was just picking on it and if it was emmanuel i'll be screaming stop stop but i was just picking on it because it was so delicious let me know if you like gucci <laughs> i'm already eating it up guys <laughs> it's a very delicious recipe for real all you want to do is fry 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 i'll keep frying until everything is done you know some people add flour to this recipe you can also add flour if you like to add flour okay just to the reason for the flour is to bind it together if you like to add flour but i discovered that i don't enjoy it with flour because it was never with flour back in the days but i think the reason why some people add flour is because they have a ripe uh, their plantain is overripe like really really overripe so if you have overripe plantain all i would suggest is you look for some more fresh plantain just like i showed you fresh plantain like i showed you the ones that are not overripe add a lot of add a lot of it to your overripe plantain and that will give you this this consistency for plantain masa but if you insist that you want to add flour well you can go ahead but i don't i don't think i enjoyed it when i added flour you know i didn't get that real plantain taste you see what i mean yeah it has to be this golden brown for plantain mosa it has to be this golden brown yes this is the right color For your plantain mosa this is the right this is the right color okay look at that color for your plantain mosa and yeah this is the last batch you can try this guys i'm sure you will love it you can eat with sauce you can put some yam alongside with akara you can eat with fish like you can eat this with anything that you care to eat it with this is your final result for your for your masa recipe this is the final result for your plantain masa recipe. You can make some sauce with fish alongside with it. So I have this delicious onion stew. You can eat with onion stew. I'm going to be adding this for my hobby. For my hobby, he's eating with plantain, masa and potatoes yes you know that street stew mm -hmm. this is another way you can enjoy your plantain mosa did you see that you can add potatoes you can add a cara fried yam whatever you choose to add enjoy enjoy i hope you're going to try this Gucci team, be loving, be kind, be merciful. God loves the merciful. Ha, ciao, ciao. See you in my next video. Mm -hmm. Enjoy.